morning vlog. We are currently in Monterey, California for a little pickleball trip or vacation, if you will. I am grabbing some of my morning coffee and we are at the beautiful Hyatt Regency here in Monterey. It's been one heck of a trip so far. I mean, we've only been here for a day and a lot of has already happened, but we are living our best life and making the best of it. Oh yeah. Tequila, my chihuahua, is here on the trip as well. <laughs> um, we're just grabbing breakfast. I'm actually about to go drill right now um, with my friend Joey, who has a house up here in Monterey. So it just happened that he happened to be here this week, and he's about the same level as I am. So we're going to go out and hit for a bit. Um, and then I think some of the other pros that are here, they're going to start doing some media. OK, let's get on with our day. Already epic fail by me. <laughs> I already locked myself out of the room, left my room key in my purse, forgot to put it in my pickleball bag. So uh, yeah, that, that's a fail by me. <laughs> um, we'll keep tally on that this trip. I am notorious for losing my room keys. Um, I just I just forget to put them in my purse usually. And you'd think by now I would have learned my lesson, but no. <laughs> first ATP oh my goodness I haven't seen anyone do this before that's adorable I love it oh and lefty Let me tell you, if there's one thing I strongly dislike doing, it's my hair. I feel like I'm always late for everything, usually because I wait till last minute to do my hair like I did right now. Right now, I'm getting ready to go to Pebble Beach with Colin and my friends Joey and Courtney. At some point, I do want to play pickleball though. Um, I've been working with Colin on visual training. So he puts on these like strobe glasses on me and basically all we do is just like volley. And you think it'd be super easy like having like volleying and strobe lights. Um, no, it's, it's really not. Um, I look really just interesting when I do it. I'm definitely whiffing balls and everything of the sorts. It's really challenging, but after, you can only do it for like two or three minutes at a time. And then, but the thing is like, even though you're failing miserably, like while you're doing it, you go and you volley like normally after without the glasses and all of a sudden you have like supervision and you can see the ball so well. Um, the reason I even started doing visual training with Colin, he's been doing it for a little bit, but I've noticed when I've been playing pickleball, I seem to like lose balls like right here. I don't know what it is with my vision, but like the moment the ball goes here, I just lose it. Um, so this has really been helping with that. I've already seen a little bit of a difference since I started doing it. So yeah, we're going to be hopefully doing that at some point today. And also I asked Colin if he could give me a lesson um, sometime this weekend because I feel like I just need a lesson on all the things right now. I have my days where I do so well. My, my ceiling can be so high but my floor can also be really low. 
And I've really been struggling with that because uh, the, the good days are just like amazing. But the bad days, like when my floor is really low, they can just really be hard on my mental health. One thing that Colin and I were talking about was he, he was like, one thing that makes a good player, like a great player is how like high their ceiling is, how low their floor is. Like he's like, if this, like the smaller the margin between the two, that means the better the player you are. And I was like, well, that's uh, not me right now. So we're, we're fixing it. He's a sweetheart for even like wanting to help me. I think before in the past when he like tried to help me with pickleball, I was always so set on getting to like a certain level. And I was always so hard on myself like trying to win tournaments. And now that I don't really compete as much, like I feel like my goals have changed a lot. And I think I'm a lot more pleasant to work with because honestly, I just want to be the best version of myself on the pickleball court and I just want to feel like I can go play rec play games and like hold my own, feel confident and people like will want to actually play with me and I'll be like okay, Sydney's being a liability on the court again and doing stupid things. I'm really really excited to get good at pickleball again. Like that's my goal for 2024. It's not even like I don't want to be like oh I want to play pro or anything like that. Like pro is definitely not in my cards anymore and I and at one point, I definitely would have said, oh, I would love to go pro. But now, looking at it, like, <laughs> I just don't want to be a pro. It's just not for me. Some people, like, go for it, be a pro. That's awesome if that's your aspiration, your dreams. But for me, I would just much rather be a content creator in the sport and be an established personality in the sport and be the best version of myself. And people, like, be like, oh, I can actually learn something from her. But, like, not, like, oh, I want to be her. If that makes sense as like a, as a pro like I don't want anyone to try and be like me or play like me like I will admit my playing style is super unorthodox just because I didn't come from a racket sport like tennis so yeah my some of my strokes are really interesting <laughs> I don't even know why I'm curling my hair I'm literally gonna go play pickleball probably within the next few hours but it's fine maybe I'll take a cute photo before it <laughs> Here at Pebble Beach and they have three pickleball courts and I think they might be expanding somewhere over here in the future but definitely gotta come back and play here later. Okay we're about to do what we do best court we're gonna go shopping. <laughs> these outfits like now <laughs> was just meeting with like the rackets director here and they're like oh would you like to go to like our beach club and <laughs> our friends that we're with they're like yes they want to go to the beach club and we're like what's a beach club apparently it's like a members only like part at pebble beach that you have to be a member in to get here like no exceptions like it's really really hard to get into here and yeah, they invited us out for dinner. So here I am at the beach club here at Pebble Beach. Oh my gosh, you guys, this might be the prettiest beach club I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, it's just so beautiful. Like the views here are stunning. I can't believe they offered this to us. <laughs> like that was so sweet. Okay, let's go, let's go have dinner.
so right now we are on our way to go see how Colin is doing in the pro-am. So this event is kind of interesting. Throughout the week, you were allowed to like bid on a pro to get him to play or her to play with you today. So starting bids for Ben were $5,000. And then I think for Colin, it was like starting bid was 2,500. Then it went down to like 1,000, then 450, then 250, I believe. Um, for all the different pros so I'm really curious to see who ended up getting Colin um, and yeah my friend Courtney just rolled up so we're gonna go see how she's doing and yeah, hang out and watch some pickleball come on with me <laughs> Wait, he's actually gonna cash for every Ooh. time he body bag. Fifty bucks for a body bag. Get it up to five hundred, Colin. Today, five hundred. You need to get the ten body bags. If he gets his ten body bags, he's definitely paying for this. <laughs> <laughs> So right now we're at the aquarium here in Monterey Bay. Oh my gosh, they have the cutest fish here. This one's staring at me. Hello? Oh, I'm around right here! Hello! Yeah. <laughs> they look like... They look like that thing from Star Wars that like lives in the sand and then it comes out. The one that like we were trying to avoid. The one that the bounty hunter got eaten by. Star Wars? Yeah. Babes. Yeah, <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> it's been five minutes. Can I go inside now? How do you know it's been two and a half minutes? You haven't even keeping track of your watch. <laughs> One minute and 15 seconds. Yeah. What do you mean? It's saying you know, that. Well, how do you, are you counting? Mm -hmm. Where's your clock? <laughs> your brain is your clock? Yeah. <laughs> I prepared our sport. Thank you. 